Now, I believe for the first time in here, uh, quarterback Christopher Vizina. Y'all please fire away with questions whenever you're ready. And if you would not mind, please identify your name and affiliation prior to doing so so we can start to get to know you. Grayson Mann with Tiger Net.com. Just to get that first career touchdown at home. Just describe that moment. What were you thinking on that play? Uh, you know, it was fourth down, uh, so I knew how to go get it. Um, but, you know, one of the first things I was thinking was, you know, I got to go get in there. The circumstances are perfect for me. It's night game in Death Valley, fourth down. Uh, running with the twos, uh, those are my guys. And, you know, I wasn't going wasn't gonna to come up short. And, you know, go in the end zone, almost got tripped up by the cheerleaders. But um, that was a really special moment. A lot of, you know, thinking about a lot of hard work, a lot of things that took to get at that moment, uh, just the journey. And, you know, to celebrate with my teammates after and just go back on the sideline and think about what a great drive we had and celebrate with them was awesome. Beth Wool from Fox Carolina in Greenville. You said it there, night game, Death Valley, fourth down with your guy. That's like what you do in the backyard as a kid. That's exactly right. the scenario. And the, yeah, that's that's the type of moments you sit back on your pillow and just dream about as a young kid. And uh, when I was able to do that and celebrate with my teammates, like I said, that was just really a dream come true. Uh, just the journey and, uh, you know, to go back to sideline and Coach Winnie was like, was that your first one? I was like, yes, sir. And him just encouraging me and going back and see all my other teammates and the defense just holding around me, just really excited for me. It meant a lot. David Hood with TigerNet.com. It kind of hit me there when you went back out for second, third drive that you've played in scrimmages, you've played in the orange-white game, played Charleston Southern last year. But this is your first extended real game action since October, November of 22? Yes, sir. What was going through your mind when you were going out there knowing, okay, I've got a few drives here? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, you know, after, you know, once we got in the second quarter, I was like, all right, I'll be able to play a little bit in the second half. And uh, I was really excited about it. That's, you know, at the end of the day, all the hard work and all the practices. And I, I've seen myself do it in practice, and I've proved to my teammates I can do it. And now I just got to go do it. Uh, and that's what I was excited about. I wanted my first pass to be a completion, and it was. And from then on, felt like I was very efficient. Uh, lead it very well, and I was proud of the second group. Uh, like I said, those are my guys, and we go to work every day, and I was really proud of how we moved the ball and all the big plays we made. That fourth down run for the TD, was that a, just a college quarterback run? That wasn't... I mean, it's an RPO. I had the option to throw it uh, if they brought some pressure out the right side, but, um, you know, fourth down, they played it the right way. Uh, I was able to get in there. Just want to take your mind across the goal line. Not falling short. I mean, get in there, hold the ball, hold the ball up tight. Uh, no ball in jeopardy, and uh, you got to get in there. What's the support like in the quarterback room, and you know the visuals of Cade watching on the on the sideline and, and cheering you guys on? Just what's that room like, and what's it been like working with him? I mean, you know, it's obviously a very young room, uh, and so I've been able to learn a lot from Cade, even though he's a year older than me. Uh, just with him having a lot more experience and you know I, I take away things from our scrimmages and our games that he does and uh, we really really compliment each other um, hold each other a high standard and I'm really appreciative for the whole standard we have in the QB room with you know Kay, Trent, Paul, Ethan and you know Coach Riley and Taj uh, it's the standards really high and so we're always pushing each other so I really appreciate that. Any questions for CV virtually? Anybody else in the room? I was just going to ask, how do you feel like you have helped Kate the most? Like, what's been your most beneficial asset to him? I mean, obviously, all his success is his success. Uh, but I mean, for him, I'm just I'm going to be there for him. Um, obviously, I haven't started a game. I don't know really know what it's like, but there's. You know, it's a privilege to be the starting quarterback at Clemson, and so that comes with a lot of responsibility and a lot of expectations. And he's he's handled it very well. But you know, I'm just there for him whenever you know he needs to get something off his chest or something. Uh, but I really appreciate him. Uh, you know, I guess he's two years ahead of me now, but really, he's just one year older than me. So we we're very similar. Uh, we have a lot of things in common. So just the relationship that we have is very special, and I appreciate him a lot. Darian Carter with the Greenville News. Uh, what are some of the things that you look to improve on after playing in uh, playing uh, on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, so I I felt like you know going in for the first time, I knew there was going to be a lot of things that uh, I was going to watch myself do that I could take away, and I was really excited to just go out there and you know 
compare my speed, uh, compare my pocket presence to the defense to an actual game situation. So, you know, thinking back, there's a couple plays, uh, maybe let the play develop a little bit more, but I mean, it's still my first game. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna improve on everything. I wouldn't say there's just a couple things. I mean, obviously, I have a lot to improve on, uh, but I'm, I feel great about myself, feel great about my development. And, uh, you know, with the help from Taj and Paul and Coach Riley, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, I've really improved on since I've gotten here. And uh, I think I've proved that to everybody. You really have no idea how these games are going to go. App State's always been a, a really good program. Uh, but they go up, you go up 21 nothing, then 28. And th are you starting to think, all right, my time's coming? Yeah, for sure. And then what did they tell you at halftime? Yes, sir. Um, so, I, you know, I was obviously expecting to get in there at some point in the second half. Uh, I didn't know if they were going to give Cade one more series or not. But, you know, in the locker room, Coach Riley told me it was, it was go time. And Coach Sweeney uh, with the team and the team meeting, he was like, you know, it's CV time. Go show us what you can do. Uh, and so that, you know, that was a boost of confidence right there, just feeling everyone uh, believe in me. And so that really helped. But, you know, I was just excited when I heard it. Uh, you know, like you said, going up. By a lot of points before halftime, I knew I was going to get my chance, so it was awesome. You came out of the tunnel. Did you look for your parents? I did not, but I mean, I knew they were watching me. I knew they were probably uh, wondering if I was going in. So then I think they got the clue when I was warming up. But uh, there's a video of my parents and just when I ran in for the touchdown and to see them so happy. And, you know, they knew what it took to get here. They knew the journey. Um, you know, those are my closest supporters, people I love the most. And, you know, I'm sure they were looking, but it was a really special moment after the game to, you know, get to share that with them. Anybody else for CV? All right, Christopher, appreciate you, man. Thanks for Thank you all.